Hello, morning from Singapore. We arrived in Singapore last night, uh, as you have seen in our last video. Uh, we have like whole day until late afternoon today to roam around in Singapore. We're a bit tired, so we're not going to do too much. probably go at the waterfront uh, where that lion statue the famous lion statue is there the fountain and then probably we'll go around walk around the waterfront and do some video and and then probably we'll also visit Chinatown so that's the plan We also booked uh, high tea at our Ibis Hotel. And Orunima is reading the map, so we're probably going to take MRT, uh, the underground. Singapore has a very good underground metro system, so we'll avail that. Probably we'll go around for 4-5 hours and see how much we can cover. This is probably going to be our second or third vlog. We started vlogging in Vanuatu during our recent cruise in South Pacific. We are trying our best to do some vlogging in Singapore. Hope you enjoy this tour so far. We just walked from our hotel for five minutes and we came across to a very nice uh, flower market. And I think they have a few shops as well. Um, probably selling some second-hand clothes and stuff like that. We just came across from a hotel and uh, th there is a fresh fruit market and you see so many watermelons on the street. So that's basically a very unique way of selling watermelons. Yeah, green cage. And also from whole area you can smell durian. It's a very strong pungent smell. It's around 9 o'clock in the morning and uh, it's not very hot yet, so it will be like 25 degree. It's a bit humid, but it's not too hot yet, so hopefully it should be alright. We're at a junction and we're crossing to the other side of the road for the MRT station. And look at the city view. There is a hospital, it's a raffle hospital apparently. Although it's Monday morning, but it's not too busy. This is Boogie's metro station where we'll take the train to the waterfront. So you see we are at the Boogie's train station, uh, metro station MRT which is marked as 14 and then from there we'll go just one station to 15 apparently which is the promenade and uh, where you have this eye and, and then the, the next is 16 is the bayfront, we'll go there where you can see that famous uh, hotel and obviously the Marina Bay and that lion statue and then we plan to go to 19 later on to Chinatown so it's like a small circle half circle that we we're going to do hopefully it will be enough for the day three hours three four hours that we have today the escalators in the MRT are too fast and uh, we're out of rhythm so we're just almost falling over but we now managed it it's Monday morning so it's getting busy at the moment a lot of office goers catching metro and going to office for work yeah the infrastructure and the facilities are really good the train station they have this conveyor belt that you can just take and you don't have to walk we're taking the downtown line from Boogies We arrived at the Bayfront station and then from there on the right hand side there's a direction to the bay and other side is the Marina Sands. So we're going to see that garden by the bay. Probably we don't have time to enter today but we'll just watch from outside and we'll try to take some photos and videos. 
so we are at the Bayfront station. So once you come out of the Bayfront station, on the left hand side, just across the road, we saw that famous iconic Singapore hotel, Marina Bay Sands. Probably it's too close, so we'll go other side of the Marina Bay to take a proper look at and took a proper video of this hotel. I think night time it is a much better view and with all the lights and glitters but obviously we won't be able to see it today. And on the right hand side we have this garden by the bay, this installation. We saw various videos, it's an amazing place but you need almost whole day to look around this amazing garden so we won't have time today. But we'll look at the garden by the bay from outside. This is a very nice location to look at the Marina Bay Sands Hotel in our background. You see, it's a very nice spot to look at the hotel. It's a pretty special place. At the Bayfront MRT station, we have this escalator that you can come up to this viewing platform. And from this viewing platform, you can see a fantastic view of the garden by the bay. And the whole panoramic view of the area is also spectacular. There is a cruise ship parked there, probably at the Singapore port. And then we have a fantastic view of the Singapore skyline, all the skyscrapers and the buildings. And then we have this Marina Bay Sands Hotel. And then if I walk other side, we have the Singapore Flyer. It's like a London Eye in Singapore and it's called Singapore Flyer. So this viewing platform is exceptional because you can see 360 degree view of Singapore. Most of the icons of Singapore you can see here. This hotel in my background is the most famous iconic uh, landmark that we always see in the Singapore videos. And then obviously this Singapore Flyer in my background. As you can see in our background, we have this garden by the bay. And yeah, these canopies are structurally looking exceptional. Obviously, we don't have much time today to walk on these canopies and there are various walks that you can do. Yeah, I think it will be a fascinating sight if we can come at the evening or night time. At the moment it's 9.30 in the morning, but it's not too hot. It's a bit humid because um, we are sweating a little bit, but Temperature wise it will be like 22 to 25 degree. It's it's pretty pleasant actually I would say because I was expecting much higher by this time and uh, so I think as day progresses it will be much hotter because last night when we arrived around 10 o'clock it was 30 degrees centigrade at night so you can imagine midday it will be pretty hot. This garden by the bay it has got various different gardens so and these structures these are also separate gardens probably greenhouses it's a massive greenhouse and so this is another garden and then we have this the main part of the garden by the bay and then you can see that there is a canopy walk it's like a connecting walk way that you can take and you can walk through these big gigantic structures and yeah it's it looks stunning it's to me to be honest it doesn't look even a garden it's to me it looks like an alien planet There is a sculpture, a metallic sculpture inside the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. So yeah, it looks stunning. Okay, now I found the, the artist's name. The sculpture called Artificial Rock. There is a cafe at the bottom of the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. Yeah, I mean, it looks different. It looks stunning. Huge.
from the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. We are going to the other side of the promenade, and so I think uh, we'll be able to see that uh, famous uh, lotus structure, the building with a lotus shape, and then also the the lion face, that the famous fountain. So there is a cruise ship parked there. It looks like ocean of the seas or something like that. Probably a Royal Caribbean ship. Hope you're enjoying the short uh, walking tour of Singapore with us. It's going to be a very short walk. It's not too sunny and I mean obviously it's cloudy so it's not too hot and sunny uh, which we wanted. This is a very nice walkway and this is the other side of the Marina Bay I think and this skyline, Singapore skyline is more prominent from this side. From this side we can see the Art Science Museum of Singapore that famous building with uh, lotus flower architecture and opposite to the Art Science Museum we should be able to see the, the famous lion face, the fountain but I think unfortunately I think it's uh, scaffolded, it's covered for maintenance so maybe we won't be able to see the lion and the water coming out of the lion's face today but this escalator is moving very slowly unlike uh, MRT we had super fast escalators and look at the views guys, it's, it looks stunning. We are now inside the Marina Bay Sands Hotel and we are going down to the waterfront. And yeah, this architecture is just exceptional, it's very modern. Well, there is a waterway and actually you can take boat rides inside this hotel. I think they'll try to make some like uh, Venice in Las Vegas or in actual Venice in Venice. We just came out from the Marina Bay Sands Hotel and uh, look at the view in our background the whole skyline can be visible and we are going to the waterfront this is going to be a spectacular spot because you can see the, all the iconic buildings and architecture that Singapore is famous for and see let's see let's walk with us these all architectures are designed to be part of a big light and sound show I think evening or night time with all the lights and glitters it will be fascinating when we visited singapore in 2013 we we're fortunate enough to enjoy these extraordinary lightings at the waterfront this is one of our old footages from 2013 visit hope you enjoy this this is a completely different view at night time as i was saying today obviously we can't see all of this today because we need to leave soon but hope you enjoy this old footage which is combined with this today's vlog it's Monday morning but there are a lot of children from school I think they're having a great time this open air area is vast it's open and it's very nice it's actually it's breathtaking Oh, this is just a spectacular view. We had similar view we enjoyed in Hong Kong, but obviously that was 10 years ago and that time we didn't took any video because I'm putting video on YouTube was not in, on our agenda that time. This is going to be very enjoyable. I mean, we have seen a lot of videos on Singapore uh, on YouTube and so this will be our own. That's all I can say. Unfortunately, I think we can't see the lion the fountain, the famous fountain today because it's covered with scaffolding. I think they're doing some maintenance. And the Art Science Museum is on the right hand side, that lotus building. And then in, in our background, we have this Marina Bay Sands Hotel once again.
We are spending last half an hour in this waterfront and we are taking photos and videos of the Marina Bay Sands Hotel and this stunning Singapore waterfront and this skyline and then we found that this building in my background, this round shaped building and I thought what that is, it's basically an apple shop, an uh, apple shop of Singapore and that's in the water and yeah it looks stunning. Can you imagine how much rent they're paying in Singapore and to get that location, that uh, special architecture to have an Apple store? Yeah, that's stunning. Other side of this promenade we have this Louis Vuitton uh, shop. So one side you have the Apple store and other side you have this Louis Vuitton store. And there are plenty of designer shops in this building. From the garden by the bay and the marina bay we came to chinatown there are a lot of shops in the underground station where you can eat and yeah and there are a lot of there are a lot of souvenir shops as well this is a very nice mooncake shop it's very Attractive, yeah, bread top. I think it's the same company as we get in Australia, the bread top, and uh, it's one of our favorite. It's a very sweet pastries and uh, very nice breads you can buy. It's a nice fruit market in Chinatown. And these are the durians. Yeah, it should be very smelly. I mean, we tried this and they taste all right. They taste good, but the smell pretty horrible. Finally, we came to Clark Keys and so there are a lot of restaurants where you can eat, especially there is a restaurant called Jumbo, famous for chili crabs. Obviously, we didn't have time today to try chili crab, and but we just came here to just cover the Clark Keys. There are a lot of uh, street food restaurants and yeah, it's a very nice place. We had something to eat last time we were in Singapore. Look who is coming towards us. It's a Lance bot. It's a robot vacuum cleaner continuously cleaning the shopping mall and continuously cleaning inside different floors. We saw a sugarcane juice, freshly made sugarcane juice uh, kiosk and uh, so basically you just need to put money and then the sugarcane juice will come out. So let's try this. The squeezing all the juices from the sugar cane by an automated machine. And the juice has been collected here. Oh, okay. It's already there, ready to be collected? No, the juice is getting filled. And then the, it will be there, yeah. So it's ready to, ready to collect. Oh, that's great. Now we're going to try the sugar cane juice. Very nice. Very nice? Okay. It's a bit hot now because the sun has come out and yeah, this was a very interesting experience. A vending machine for sugar cane juice, freshly made sugar cane juice. Next to our hotel in Benkulan, we found that there is a Krishna temple just opposite to our hotel. And so there is some worship going on. So we thought we'll just come around and do some short video. Apparently, it's 130 years ago this Krishna temple was built in Singapore. Oh yeah, it's stunning. This architecture is very similar to like South Indian temples. And yeah, it's, it looks stunning. 
just beside our hotel, this temple was just an, a bit of a surprise and very good surprise. And that's basically where we started in the morning, that hawker's market, the fruit market and the flower market that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. That's basically the other side of that market this temple is situated. From the Krishna temple, we just came across the, through the market, the flower market and the hawker's market. And there is another Chinese temple just beside the Krishna temple. So it's quite diverse, Singapore. In front of our Ibis hotel, there are some markings, directions of different countries and the distance. And especially Australia, obviously we've flown yesterday, 6,200 kilometer. And France is like 10,000. And then Thailand is 1,400. Indonesia, obviously 893. United Kingdom, 11,000 kilometer. After five hours walking in Singapore today, before going to the airport, we thought we'll do some foot massage. And there was a foot massage uh, parlor just across our hotel. So we opted for that. And it's at the moment going on and it's very nice, very relaxing. So how do you learn to do the massage? Do you actually do a course uh, in a college to learn how to do massage? Yeah, yeah you can do the course. Okay. And how long that takes to graduate? So it depends. So if you uh, believe in some very good master, you can earn more. So see, uh, like six months to many years, or how the minimum duration? At least two years. At least two years. Okay. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> and is it is it expensive to do the course or no? no? Not, not ah, okay. In the China. So it's okay. okay. Not too much. Not too much. So today is Ritavan's birthday, today is 16th October. And uh, so this high tea is specially for him. We have a few high teas before, but not so grand as this. So there are too many items here for two people. It will be a challenge to finish all of that, but we have to finish. Because really we can't take away. And normally high teas are like cakes, pastries and sandwiches. But here there is a chicken slider, the kue pai tea. It's kind of a local uh, popiat. It's a local food. So this one is the cream puff. Very crumbles. Cheese cake, chocolate cake. So uh, this is a curry chicken puff. Banana fritters. Laksa and satay. Why? This one is a carrot cake. Yeah, let's see how we can finish this. Okay, we also had two drinks, uh, rosy and hibiscus drink, uh, tea, and I had the lychee tea uh, with ice. Oh, so this is laksa. They look delicious. Okay, let's start. Let's try the omelette first. I think it has got some uh, seafood sticks inside, and obviously some lettuce and. Very nice. Obviously, um, omelette is omelette. So try the laksa also a bit, mm -hmm. and maybe the satay. Yeah. Try the satay. And they have given a nice sauce. Sambal. Sambal. Okay. Mm. Sambal is mm, not very hot. I mean, now I can feel mm, the heat a uh, little bit later. And does but it have that uh, dry fish dry smell? Fish. It has got mm, not very strong, but it has got the dry fish smell. But the chicken satay is yeah, it's nice, soft. So it has there is like a cocktail stick, and uh, there it are is some uh, seafood stick. Seafood, yeah. And yeah. some tofu maybe, and some prawn. Maybe I need the spoon to take this off. Yeah, so they have some noodles in the laksa as well. So, I'll just try uh, 
little bit. And here's the coconut cream. So it's very thick, spicy, not too hot again. Mm, delicious. Uh, it's really delicious so far. The laksa, um, I'm directly drinking it from my pot. And it, ha it had actually had a um, small slice of egg, boiled egg in it. So it's delicious. Okay, now now we have sweet thyme. Actually, I have got three different slices. A chocolate slice, I think it's a caramel, cheese caramel slice. And then we have this raspberry slice. And this is a small uh, profiterole. So let's try. It's like dark chocolate. I'll try this one. So it's a, basically, I think it's a cheesecake with some caramel topping. It's not too sweet, it's good. Profiterone has a durian filling. Oh, it has got durian filling. Yeah, I tasted it and it has a strong smell of durian. Full of durian. Let's try this one. It's like a small pastry and it has got some, I don't know what's, maybe fish roe and prawn. Mm, very good. Very spicy. Savory? Very savory. Fresh ginger. This is chicken slider. So it has got inside, it has a chicken. Try that and some curry puff or something. Curry puff, yeah. I'll just take it out. Yeah. So this has got like minced chicken and some potato topping. Yeah, it's like curry, with curry powder. like normal chicken bala. So there's a robot, it's a security robot, it's a moving security robot to us. So we ended early in the city because it was just becoming too hot. So we came early to the terminal and obviously there is another attraction uh, called Jewel. This, the Jewel is the massive fountain in uh, Terminal 1 of Singapore uh, Changi Airport. Uh, there is a rainforest so we, we decided that okay we'll come early and we'll spend a couple of hours at the airport and, and see this Jewel in our background. And so we'll have a tour of Jewel as well included in this video of our Singapore walking tour. The Jewel is probably one of the largest water fountain in the world at the moment. It's located in the Terminal 1 of Singapore Changi Airport. Yeah. We arrived at the top level and there are some canopy walks across the water fountain. And then there are people, uh, as you can see, standing. And there is a train, this, the train between terminals passing by. So it's a fascinating view. So we'll try to go at the bottom level and to watch the water fountain dropping from the top. Terminal 1 is uh, gorgeous with the new jewel and it's coming from the top and it's just fascinating. We really enjoyed Jewel. It was fascinating. The, the structure was really amazing, and it's uh, it's free. There is no ticket required, but it's outside the the entry hall. So you need to be at the Jewel, enjoy Jewel. Then you need to do the check-in or immigration.